I knew that there was a spark of, uh, of some different kinds of music, um, but I did think it was pretty pretty heavy country, and that was good for me because mm -hmm. I'm very, very into country, so it wasn't, you know, I'm, I'm into all kinds of things. But um, the spark that I saw was my first job out of uh, college was working at Lost Highway Records, and that was, at the time, my favorite um, my favorite record label around because it was so eclectic. It was it was in Nashville and it had kind of alternative country artists like Ryan Adams, Lucinda Williams. So it was kind of on the edge of country stuff. So I knew there was something brewing that I wanted to be part of as far as as far as that went. Um, so you know I I kind of as I started as I moved to Nashville from uh, from Swanee, Tennessee. Um, I, I started going out a lot in the, the Monday nights at uh, 12th and Porter, which was called 12 off 12th. Now it's called 8 off 8th, um, and it's over at Mercy Lounge. Started going to that, and it was just, it was just you know, singer-songwriters, not country, um, mm -hmm. and a lot of rock bands. You know, some of the, I guess, early level, you know, people like Mindy Smith were playing there, and she, she was just, you know, just another another singer singer songwriter hanging around, so it was neat to get to see her in the early stages and like um, just remember seeing the Kings of Leon, like Pink Spiders play there, and you know this is like o two, o three, and then kind of a transition seemed to to begin happening with with the rock scene. I feel like, um, and it it was more than obvious that um, that it was more than just a country town. Mm -hmm. um, some of those bands started getting signed with major labels and um, you know Kings I think Kings of Leon really kind of provided the uh, the spark for that shift of the outside looking in saying you know we've got we've got more stuff going on than country and that's not to say you know as far as the kind of saying not just country, not just country. It's not anything wrong or putting down country. It's just that that's firmly established since way back in the day. And, you know, that doesn't need the attention. It's, it's all, the, all the other stuff that's going on that people do not necessarily know about.